This video today is for you to see what I plan on doing when I return back to work. My name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Let's talk PPE. Please know that I've been closely following the CDC, OSHA, OSAP, ADA, ADHA. However, keep in mind that the information that I'm about to present to you are based upon the interim guidelines because we are currently in an ever evolving situation. So please, please, please stay current and up to date yourself as things continue to change in the weeks and months to come. Also, please keep in mind that some of the stuff I'm about to show you is new, but lots of the stuff we should have been doing anyway, like wearing long sleeves. So let's start there. In addition to wearing long sleeves, which we've all been doing, I'm upping my game to wear a long disposable gown over my scrubs as well. I will also not be wearing my scrubs to and from work. If you have the option to launder them in your office, great. If not, it is recommended that you change into your scrubs once you arrive at the office and change out of your scrubs before you leave the office. That way you're able to transport them in a sealed bag and not contaminate anything else with the scrubs. Also, I will be leaving my clinic shoes at work. I've always worn glasses, gloves, and level three masks. Now the level three masks were prior to COVID-19. I actually have a video all about the differences between the different levels of masks, which I will link that video below if you wanna learn more. Having said that, I will now be wearing a respirator mask, such as the N95 or KN95. Also right now, we will be placing the level three surgical masks on top of our respirator masks and switching out that top surgical one for each patient to prolong the longevity of the respirator mask underneath it. This is again an interim situation due to the shortage in respirator masks. In addition, I will be wearing a face shield. Also about the safety glasses, I am someone who wears loops, so I plan to soon make a video all about the different face shields that can fit properly over your loops and how to wear your loops properly with the new respirator masks. I'm in the process of creating this video right now, so stay tuned for that. And last, but definitely not least, I will be wearing a hair cap. My plan is to wear the cloth one all day and cover it with disposable ones throughout the day. So that's my updated PPE plan for when I return to work. I know this is a very uncertain time right now, so I hope this video helps you feel not alone. We are all in this together, and my hope is that we all continue to help one another out. I plan to continue following the reputable resources regarding infection control, such as OSAP, OSHA, and CDC, and of course our professional associations, such as the ADA and the ADHA. I will link all these resources in the bottom bar below. I urge you all to stay updated as well. I'm starting to find that things can change at a moment's notice, so please remember this is an interim PPE guideline video. And if you have any tips or tricks about PPE that you've read about and you'd like to share with us all, please comment in the comments below. This is a community and I'm all about sharing the knowledge with one another. Until next time, peace, love, and tea. Oh.